bubbles. Who doesn't love bubbles? And I don't mean these bubbles. I mean these bubbles. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make giant bubbles and teach you a little of the science behind these soapy spheres of satisfaction. Stay tuned. Here's what you're going to need. Dish soap, water, glycerin, J-Lube, baking soda, citric acid, telescoping fishing rods, cotton string, nuts, and a container. To make the bubble mix, first measure out one tablespoon of J-Lube. Now, J-Lube is a powder mix to form a lubricant used to aid farm animal births, uh, among other things. Cover the J-Lube with glycerin and mix well. Be sure there are no clumps. Pour a little warm water in with the mix and stir. Pour three cups of dish soap in the container you will use and top it with the J-Lube mix. Stir it well. Next, stir a half a tablespoon of citric acid in one tablespoon of baking soda and stir this into the container. Finally, add two gallons of warm to hot water and blend it all together. Your bubble juice is ready to go. To make the wand, I use two telescoping fishing rods. These will make transporting your wand easier because they save space. Cut three pieces of cotton string at eight feet and braid them together. This will form the top piece of the triangle on your wand. Next, repeat with 16 feet pieces of string. This will form the other side of the triangle. Send this set of strings through the washers and tie the washers in the middle of the string. The weight of the washers will ensure the triangle forms and allows bubbles to be produced. Tie the ends of both strings to the ends of the rod so that a triangle shape is formed. That's it. Let's go blow some bubbles. With your back to the wind, pull the rods up slowly, making sure the string is still together. And once the string is completely out of the bubble juice, spread the rods apart and let the bubble magic begin. If you watch the bubbles carefully, you will notice they try really hard to become spherical even though my string makes a triangular shape and the wind blows them in long tubes. Given enough time though, the bubbles fight to be round, or more accurately, spheres. There are a couple reasons for this. When the bubble is blown, there is air on the inside of the bubble that is pushing outward. And there is air outside the bubble that is pushing inward. The force of the air on the inside is equal to the force of the air on the outside, so the forces are balanced, which gives the bubble its smooth shape. Another reason is that the film of the bubbles have surface tension, which pulls the water molecules across its surface close to one another and pushes the air inside the bubble together. As this happens, the bubble takes a shape with the least amount of surface area. Yep, you guessed it, that's a sphere. No other shape has less surface area per given volume than a sphere. If one did, then perhaps that would be the shape of our bubbles. You may have also noticed that bubbles are quite colorful. A bubble's color comes from a process called iridescence, which causes them to appear to change colors as they move. This happens as light reflects off the front and back of the thin layers of soap film. Depending on the thickness of the film, the different colors of light can interfere either constructively or destructively with one another, which is what causes the bubble to appear to be many different colors. Now that's some cool science. So get outside, enjoy the weather, and make your own giant bubbles. Thanks for watching.